Alright, Lumina, that's a little random. What are we doing here now of all places? Well, we are going to look for... We're looking for old boy. Where where be he? We're looking for Niccolo. We're going to be in the shopping district. I think he might be in Monique's lamp shop, actually. No, nope, not here. Where is that dang old boy? We are looking for him so that we can do Niccolo's Business Unusual Part 3. And, uh, is he off... Yeah, there's nothing off over this way. Not anything we can go in right here. Anything in here? There he is. All right. Yeah, but last time you didn't know who I was. You have a very spotty memory. Ugh. Well, another day of just one mission, I suppose. And, uh... This one is definitely going to take a long time because I'm looking at my cheat sheet for directions here and even that is making me sort of nauseous. Alright, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, alright, whatever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Alright, yeah, we'll go <laughs> prove that. Sure, why not? Oh, Niccolo, you silly, silly man, you. Alright, going to go down now. And make our way out to the bleh, Mendes Ruins. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We gotta go find the psychokinetic flower link. This is the easy part. What is not easy is the way we're gonna have to get out. Because, yeah, we're gonna get in a little bit of a chasing. You got more crystals than I did, Niccolo. I'm gonna stab your fat ass. Okay, I'm over it. Oh, hey guys. Didn't realize there was going to be another fight right here. But the fights here are at least mercifully easy. Unless you're a stupid like Niccolo and you get hit by wizard eyes all the time. And getting lots of seeds here. That's going to help out with our orchards, certainly. Let's keep on moving to the, I want to say, left. And through the Tower of Winds. And now we're going to set up another... Hey! But he's not the one we're looking for, actually. As counterintuitive as that may seem. Alright, now how are we going to set this up? I believe we're going to move both of them to the opposite side. Yes, you're the keys of the gates. I get that. I understand that. I've been here several times before. You don't need to worry about me. Alright, let's go this way then. Hello, Mr. Rattler Boa with a motor oil can on your tail. Have I ever noticed that before? Not sure I have. Okay, up into this spot. And, ah, uh, she's always in my way. She just kind of tools around there. You're a fire hazard, young lady. I'm sure I've made that joke, but I don't care, really. There he is. There's the guy. Oh. Well, uh, I'll leave that to you. I'm not much for running, actually. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, now we gotta get out of here. And that's the uh, substantially harder part, because now we're gonna have to go reset some gates. It's not just a simple matter, I don't think, of going around and just reversing what you did. Super Psychokinesis has kind of, I believe, screwed up all the gates. So, let's get on out of here. And now we're going to come upon this guy. Only one flowering right here, but we're going to move him. And now we just make our way back out from where we came, and we're going to fight the chest knight again. Maybe we will have time. I'm doing pretty well with directions, so maybe we will have time to do another mission today. I just kind of do these things on the spur of the moment. I don't ever really think about, you know, until I go ahead and do them, what I'm going to be doing for the day. So I think, yeah, maybe we might have time to go ahead and do this again, because these directions are turning out to be a lot easier to follow than I thought. And yes... I am following... Oh, hey. Only one here now. Did we go in this gate the first time? I'm not sure, but I do know that we need to move this little lady over to the left. 
And yes, some might construe this as cheating. I say we are just optimizing our time because we don't want to walk around and be lost all the time. That is a singularly unattractive option. And getting lost during LPs, I think, is just kind of... It just doesn't make for a whole lot of fun, in my opinion. Do we go... No, we can't go right here. Hey, but there's a, a treasure chest sitting right there taunting me from a distance. I think we're near back the beginning where we were now. We're getting kind of back into familiar territory once again. Oh, nope. Yeah, still a little bit of a weird place, but we're just going to adjust that one gate and then get out of here. Yeah, but I don't think getting lost during Let's Plays or Talk Throughs is a very attractive option. And so I elect to just go ahead and follow some easy directions because nobody likes mazes. Come on. Who really likes going through mazes? Hey, Malboro. Hopefully I'll get a seed out of you. That would be nice. Uh, or some minor experience is okay too, I suppose. But yes, that's my rationale for getting us out of here and uh, for getting us out of here this way. Alright, here we are. We're back at the entrance. That was not so bad, actually. So I think we're going to go ahead and do a second mission today. Yep, we are right back at the beginning where we wanted to be. And yeah, you can spend a lot of time exploring the Mendus Ruins on your own if you want to. There's lots of treasure and lots of ways to get stuck around here if you are so inclined to do that. But I guess if you know where you're going, this is a pretty short and simple little mission. Otherwise, what makes it so hard is, you know, you running around getting lost. And that's what I thought was going to take like 20 minutes. But it only took five, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, yeah, ran away. Why don't you run away? Run away, Niccolo. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Psychokinesis. Yes, we've definitely got time for at least one more mission today. So, we're actually going to lay down a new artifact for the first time in God knows how long. We're going to take the Sand Rose, and we're going to set it just to the right of Lake Kilma. And this is a pretty fun mission with kind of one of those Punk Master type, Gigarex, really easy bosses. And we're going to have a really fun mission starting right here. We're going to meet a new cast of people, actually. The uh, folks from the Magic Academy in Geo, which we haven't laid down yet. Hey, kids. What's horrifying? What's too much of a shock? Who's hungry? Oh, right. Can't believe what? Who's this lovely lady? I'm looking to pick up snake chicks. The kids are a lot of fun in this mission. In fact, just about any mission you do in the deserts, quite a bit of fun actually. My fiance. Oh yes, she's not just a snake lady, she's a Medusa lady. Alright. Oh no. So he's like the Voldemort of Fadil, I guess. It's not that big a place. Well, uh, I will definitely help you out. Let's uh, offer up some of our good old-fashioned help. And that's Kathinja, professor at the Academy of Magic, and now we're going to do Reach for the Stars. This is a pretty simple get from point A to point B and fight a boss type of mission. Alright. Oh, a will they now? But you can't really tell them apart from Kathinja's students because they all wear the same uniforms. Yeah! Off we go, boyos. So let's proceed into the desert with not much caution because this is a pretty simple place. It's farther away from any point we've gone yet, but... Ooh, lizard meat. That's probably actually gone bad being out here in uh, storage. So which way do we want to go then? Uh, well, how do I know? You don't. But, even though the paths are blocked... <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Liar, liar, plans for hire. But if you talk to them, they'll get out of your way and they'll just kind of fight with each other and make that noise, which is hilarious. But I believe we want to go down to the right for this time. And we'll keep running into uh, such like students. Basically, if you go the wrong way, you'll just hit a dead end and have to turn around. So, uh, it's not horrible. Doing some sliding and bashing, hoping to learn that deadly branding. All right, yeah. Mole bear is easy, nothing we ain't fought before. I'm just gonna keep going until I learn something. What's uh, what's dry bones got for me? Spoils, experience, nice. Hopefully we get something useful out of that. The farther out we get, the better chance we have of getting raw materials. Because the higher level enemies you fight, the more a chance they'll drop rare items for you. And I think we want to go to the uh, far top right. Yeah, here we go. We are definitely on the right track now, but there's only one way to go right here, I believe. Unless the uh, waterfall counts as a way, or the sand fall, which you can't even get past. Oh. No. I'm just gonna go right through y'all. You're just kids, after all, even though you do have scary, spiky helmets. Unless those are just, like, cotton flaps or something. Oh. Oh. The Twin Towers? Well, uh, hate to tell you, but, uh, I'm gonna have to knock you guys down. <laughs> Whoops! Well, that's good to know for us, anyway. Oh, what an unfortunately chosen nickname for those young lads. Hey, it's a fiend head, or a fierce head, like from, uh, Legend of Mana. They're really easy to beat, though, and they'll probably give up something weird, like ghoul meat, I'm sure. I like the desert and all, but I'm frankly... Ooh, the Pegasus helmet. Is that better than our current helmet? Let's see, why don't we? And it sounds like it would be. Yep, by all accounts, it's better than our current armor, so we need to go ahead and change out. We could probably stand to get some better armor anyway. But, I don't know, we haven't really faced a real need for that yet. Aw, oh, man, complete whiff. Boo. Why don't I just go ahead and slide under you and at least try to learn a new move. Man, those exploding eggs. Man, they're just as bad in this game as they were in Secret of Mana. Just as annoying, but they get out. Hella experience. That is one thing I like about these guys. You could go back and forth to the screen forever, just getting new. Wow, 330 experience points out of one battle. Not too shabby. But I think we want to go up this way. Yep, more kids blocking our path, which means that's probably right. Nope. Keep persisting. Don't don't go ahead and turn back. No, nope, no, nope. I want to keep going. There we go. Go through. I didn't mean to do that the first time, but. Oh, yes, I'm going to penetrate your forces. No, that sounds terrible. Y'all are little boys. I'm very sorry. I apologize. Wow. Gallows humor all around. Ugh. I'm making myself uncomfortable. Oh, man. Well, good thing we're not fighting him, then. Uh, I think my equipment's pretty good, actually, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Well, I'll talk to you, since it's obvious I'm not getting by without... Wow, that is a battle stance. You have got me pumped up, Kathinja. Let's do it to it. And there's Mephiance right there. He seems pretty evil, but... As we'll see, he's he's got a lot more bark than bite. Oh, that book. I sold it for Diet Coke and Mendo's. You see, what we're doing here today is... Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. We got, like, an autistic wizard on our hands. That would be pretty sweet, actually. That's right. I'm going to spell out my name and declare my love for you. Your name. Your name. 
Well, I could spell out my name and declare my love for me. That does sound useful, but... Oh, oh, that's significantly more evil and less lovey. Whoa, that is some pretty sweet magic, actually. But I got pushed back less by it, despite the fact that I'm not from the Academy of Magic. But we just have to fight these two axe beings. It's not a terribly difficult battle. See, we can just plow right... Wow, they have a lot of life. They're getting into overlapping bars, actually. Yeah, these guys have a lot of life, but that's pretty much all they have to recommend themselves. Just keep wailing on. They don't seem to have any special magic at this point. Yeah, and see, even getting hit by that rolling beak attack. I only took 3% damage. Now, if I would actually sit still, I could probably recover fairly quickly. But this is a pretty easy battle, and I'm not worried about it. Hey, there goes one. And unfortunately, we only get normal experience out of the deal. But yeah, this is a fun mission with a fairly easy boss fight, and it's a shorty. We'll see more of Methion's and Kalinja later. Sweet names, but a little bit tough to say. And no new move on yet. Jeez, what does it take? I must not be fighting high enough level monsters. And now let's tune in for the complete and utter annihilation of the planet. evil at all. That was just plain pretty. Alright. Hey, that'll make something awesome. Equipment-wise, I'm sure. But yeah, that's a short little sweet fun mission, and you know what? Since the next mission is a workshop mission, hell, I think we've even got time for one more today. Thought we were only gonna do one mission? Ended up doing three. How's about that? Fireworks! Alright, now we're going to go set up the last of our three workshops. Right after you do Reach for the Stars, come out here and one of the kids from the Magic Academy will come out. And he will teach you how to make instruments for casting magic spells. Magic is not really necessary in this game. But, it's fun to do occasionally. We can, It's a little easier than tempering weapons or making golems, but it's not as powerful. I'll go ahead and help him out. Enchanted Instruments 101. So, this then is the easiest of the workshop missions. We don't have to pass an exam or do a million strikes. Ah, okay. And he's going to take us out to a place where we can look for a spirit. And it just so happens to be the West End Indominus. So, there we go. There's a couple of wisps out there. And usually, if you run into dead ends... We haven't shown any places like this yet, but there are often dead ends in areas where you can get a random, you know, monster egg or you'll run into a wisp and you'll be able to, or some other elemental spirit and you'll be able to catch it and make an instrument with the coin that it gives you. So uh, we may run into places like that occasionally. Oh, hey, a couple instruments for free. Okay. All right. All right, let's see. Wisp is generally a very nice elemental, so I'm going to play a happy song with the flow harp that I was given. See, you just use raw materials to make instruments like you would weapons or golems or whatever. Same kind of creation process, so yeah. And uh, you have melody and harmony. We're just going to play melody. And yeah, you can actually put a whole bunch of instruments out and end up making an entire song if you do all the main and melody parts and you mix it up kind of nice, you can actually put together some pretty cool musical compositions. Yeah, but right now one is fine. The student is correct, so let's get it started. Oh wow, they both dig it. 
looks like. Yeah, that's a pretty rocking solo. And all you gotta do is wait for an elemental to creep closer, then run up and talk to it. And that one wisp is getting really close to us, so I'm going to... Stop! There we go. Talk to him. Silver, silver, and we'll probably get... Okay, we got three silver coins. Sometimes you get a gold out of the deal. But three silver coins is enough to pass the mission. Well, good for you then. Happy to help a student get an A. Alright, now we actually make an instrument with the materials we've got. Yeah, we should go ahead and uh, actually go over the cursory basics before we let him go. Primary materials and elemental coins. And you make the body of the instrument with a raw material, and you add the coin to enchant it and give it a spell. And uh, what are the coins for? They give magical effects. Okay. Alright, we don't know how that is yet, but I'm sure we'll all learn together in the supplemental materials I plan on putting together at the end of this series. And uh, we can just let him go then. And that should be the end of the mission. Yeah, it would be nice to get a variety of coins. Now we have Aura Silver and Salamander Silver. And a little raw material. Nice. Wow, raw materials all over the place today. Well, that's going to do it for Instruments 101. Very simple, very easy mission. And now we've completely filled out our workshop. So that's it for that. We don't have to do any silly little tutorial creation missions anymore. And so we will move on. That's your three missions for today. Tomorrow we will start in on a new story arc that takes place in the Underworld. Ooh. Instruments finished.